about the film without giving too many spoilers away. So my film's about, you know, that teacher at school, you could always push a little bit too far, you just thought he was a soft touch. So my film's about this teacher, he seems like a good guy, he's tried to passionately communicate his love of literature to his students, his kids, for quite a long time, 20 years. We're not kind of trying to criticise the whole of comprehensive school education, but there's some areas, it's a satirical look at where some areas could be improved and where some kids are being failed, some teachers are being failed. He flips, he kidnaps two kids that just turned 16, he tortures them and teaches them about poetry at the same time. <laughs> It does, it sounds like my kind of horror film. Well, there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of teaching, there's a lesson. Uh, but I think I think it's worth, you know, there's a denouement, there's a catharsis. I think it's worth seeing through to the end. You're with there with the, the victims. <laughs> so when preparing yourself for such a sinister role, is there anything that you did specifically before you went on set to get yourself in the mood, so to speak? I wish I could tell you there was, but there wasn't really. I. I found what was important that he had a, he was constantly energised, so he was constantly on the edge. Because I felt that he was like a, a spring that was about to snap. So what I, I used to literally I used to jump up and down, I used to jump up and down, putting my knees up to my chest like 30, 40 times. So I'd be slightly out of breath and always slightly suppressing it. That's what I used to do. What does it mean to you to be here today, to have the film shown to hardcore horror fans? Well, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I've, I've never been to a horror film festival before, so I'm, su I'm, I'm surprised at how many people are here and how many people are, are really excited about us being here too. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's great. Oh, I'm really chuffed that we're here. Can you talk to us a little bit about the character? Um, the character, um, I'm this very vulnerable um, mother of the kind of a lead uh, girl that um, sort of goes out, has you know, has parties, but probably suffers a bit of, you know, has a bit of a bipolar disorder, and so um, she has come to live in um, the UK. They live in a small place, and as a foreigner, it hasn't been easy for her, I guess, but. Um, you know, she has these big mood swings. So she goes out and gets a younger boyfriend and does all sorts of things. And obviously, the daughter has suffered a bit as a result of that. So, so when preparing yourself for a role such as this, is there anything special that you do before you go on set? Oh God, because she's also very clever and fast thinker. So the, the role was quite tough in terms of that. You know, it, it required my own brain to work very fast um, so you know you can remember lines but then you have to have the thought behind it so uh, it took me quite a while to get out of it I think um, getting into it we did, we did you know we did quite a few takes because the scene was um, quite centered around my character when she appears to, to, to meet the daughter um, um, so yeah you know you do you, you kind of watch films you think about this you read about it, you know different things work for different people I guess us about your characters well we were kind of I guess we were the villains of the piece really uh, <laughs> I guess I, you, See, we haven't seen it yet but you've You're said villains it. and we love you already well, <laughs> it wasn't it's not evil. it's not your your typical kind of villain it was uh, it was kind of like nice like schoolboy tyranny Warring. just like terrorizing the teacher just being just generally being pretty yeah. pretty irritating and horrible. So Rory plays Joel, who is uh, the typical kind of guy that you want to be like at school. You want to mess around, you want to throw chairs about when the teacher leaves, and he orchestrates it. So he I'm, orchestrates I'm, just that, I'm just that kind of guy, so it was, it was a really natural role for me to play. So. And, and Finn's a bit like the sheep, I suppose. He sort of, he doesn't know what to do, so he follow, he feels trapped at home. He's not loved, so he feels like Joel. He feels like he should he should go with Joel and whatever Joel does, he does. I was kind, of, I was kind does. of his guiding. I was his shepherd. He was the sheep. I was the shepherd. You must. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. Can you just tell me a little bit about the character you play in the film? I play Mia, and she's. Tohle je hrozný. Já vůbec nevím, jak jí mám představit. She's a girl from former Yugoslavia. Yeah, right. she's a girl from Yugoslavia, and she's uh, she's a really good girl, but uh, she have a, a bad boyfriend, I think, and it's 
and she's <laughs> so absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> I don't know.